Hey there, friends. This is TK, your Feminine Glow Guide. Looking back over the last few months, do you feel you've made progress with your personal goals? Has anything gotten in your way? Perhaps you feel that your identity has been so wrapped up in family responsibilities and others' expectations that you're not quite sure how to shine your light. Well, today, I'd like to provide a little encouragement and inspiration. If you're stuck on a never-ending cycle of stifling and unfulfilling sameness and are ready for a shift, there's no better time than now. Make today the first day of your new life and then choose what day two will look like. Say this aloud. Today is the first day of my new life and I get to choose what day two looks like. Words of intention are powerful. There's something fresh and exhilarating about honoring a bold declaration. You're not limited by previous experiences. Now all you have to do is believe every word of it. Now we're not going to get into a bunch of how-tos and what-to-dos here. You've taken the first small step, acknowledging your situation and affirming a change. The only thing I ask is that you enjoy some me time this week. Go for long walks, sit quietly, and meditate for as long as you want. Read inspirational messages and listen to uplifting audios. Be at home with spirit. Think about how you've been showing up over the last few years. Reflect on your choices and your relationships with others. Images of people and situations may come into view. Are you a people pleaser? Are you trying to satisfy everyone else at the expense of your own happiness? Do you tend to ignore your needs and sacrifice your desires for what you think others want? Could any of this be holding you back from realizing your dream? Deep breath in. Release. Without resistance, Allow yourself to experience any emotions that come up. How can you become more authentic? What is yours to do? Trust your inner voice. What would make you spring out of bed each morning with zest and zeal? Grant yourself permission to go there. Be honest and gentle with yourself. Your feelings are potent clues to your what and why. Your curiosity may lead to answers that were there all along. Pray. Breathe, meditate, affirm, repeat. You can't expect others to please you. At the end of the day, you're responsible for choosing the way you want to show up. The relationship that endures is the relationship that you nurture with yourself. Say this out loud. I deserve to be happy. You were not born to live a diminished life. You were made for a time such as this. Uncover what's been holding you back so your truth can be revealed. Permit your inner wisdom to guide you this week. Know that you are a part of a sacred, divine trust. You are a unique expression of God. And this is the time to allow your light to shine through. Do you have a vision for what you want the second half of your life to look like? And are you willing to establish standards to help yourself get there? Take these four steps to nourish, transform, and flourish this week. Today, set a loving intention to begin shining your inner light. Begin by spending some quiet time with yourself and asking hard questions about what you want your life to look like. Now, how will spending me time, meditation, and prayer reveal your truth? Now close your eyes and visualize how this lifestyle change can prepare you for your amazing second half. Remember, no action, no satisfaction. And finally, your likes, follows, and shares mean the world to me. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. 
to get recipes, inspiration, wellness tips, and more. We're on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And if you're ready to plan your second act, hop on over to lifestyle120.com to check out our Sprout Your New Life course. And while you're there, please join our mailing list. In love, peace, and health. See you next week.